I set the world record for the half marathon, I thought, I wonder if I could turn around and do this again. And I went to the New York City Marathon, not, not to run it, but to win it. But I didn't catch the leader until exactly 26 miles. So I led the New York City Marathon for 385 yards and won it, set the fifth fastest time in history. And that really was a crowning moment for me. Very cool. Well, you know, first of all, I have to tell you how proud I am of you guys because you're marathon runners just like me. It's not about winning the race. If you start something and finish it, you're going to be a champion. Finishing is winning, isn't it? So what are we going to do today? In 1960, Sir Edmund Hillary, one of the first men to climb Mount Everest, came to my school. And he told us that Mount Everest wasn't high enough for your goals, your dreams, and your aspirations. That was a defining moment for me because I suddenly wanted to think beyond Mount Everest. Running was something that was very, very special to me. My brother and I were just, we were born to run. Running together, he was starting to show a, a lot of potential. At that time, I started focusing more on his running than on mine. He understood the principles and philosophy of training. And so he was able to then better channel those ideas in his language down to me. And suddenly there was a chance that he could go to Munich. In 1971, the big thing was, was to win the Olympic trials and to qualify because I hadn't done either. That's where my brother realized that nobody else was gonna do the pacemaking. To get the times, you couldn't sit back. You had to be on the ball right from the gun when the gun went. And I would set the pace. And he said, you follow me. You sit right in behind me and do exactly what I tell you. And then with 300 metres to go, I would call him through. He moved over to the second lane and said, go. And he said it in such a way that I had such a fright, I took off. And I'm running down the back straight into the turn. And the next thing is I see him on the right-hand side of the home straight yelling at me. And I go, whoa, how did he get there so fast? And it came over the loud hailer that, that he had broken the time, the qualifying time for him. And we just hugged him. And I went on to win the Olympic trials. It really was then, will I be going to the Olympics? Yes, I will. I coached my brother to reach the Olympics. One of the greatest moments of my life um, is, is that trial. Yes. Representing New Zealand, a small South Pacific country of uh, 3 million people and 30 million sheep, uh, we, were, we were carrying on a tradition. We were proudly wearing our New Zealand fur and representing our nation in the world. And that was very, very powerful. Very, very powerful. An hour and a half after I finished the New York City Marathon, I went back out to the finish line with my hood up and watched thousands and thousands of other people crossing the finish line. And I realized at that point that I wasn't the only winner that day. I think coaching was a natural progression for me to helping other people achieve their goal of finishing a marathon. And that was when I realized that it was time for me to give back. Okay, so what are we gonna talk about? Um, how do we race you? Race me? Yeah. You can't beat me. Who is the fastest, by the way? Stephanie. Stephanie. <laughs> but what we what we got to do first? We got to warm up, don't we? Yeah. Okay. Jumping jacks. Jumping jacks. Set. Go. One, two, three. The kids marathon mission is to inspire kids to be active and healthy through running, and we've impacted over five hundred thousand kids worldwide. See, running, when I grew up, was a form of punishment. You misbehave, you had to go and do laps. But this school, that the kids actually know it's fun to go out and run. It's like a good exercise, good encouragement, and you get to make new friends, so it's like fun. A result that we see from the Kids Marathon is just an overall positive attitude. We had students that didn't think they could run one lap around our, our playground. For the very first time in their lives, if they set a goal, they could actually reach that goal. This is the Rod Dixon medal. Ran 26.2 or 8 miles. Just being able to meet him and know that they know somebody who's 
a runner and has been to the Olympics, it's very tangible and I think it makes it like they can also aspire to do that. Rod Dixon is inspiring because he inspired me to run faster and run a bunch of like marathons here, but um, I just keep running. The future of Kids Marathon is, is really is just to empower more kids. Kids love to run. They finally love to run. My career has spanned a good 15 years. I've never announced my retirement because I, don't, I haven't retired. I'm still going. I'm still doing what I'm doing because I still love what I'm doing. This whole journey continues and it will hopefully for another 100 years. <laughs>